So to start off with this makeup, I'm going to be doing my face before I do my eye look because I'm going for something very very simple and neutral. So I'm going to go ahead and prime my face. I'm using the Be Creative Vivet Matte Primer. I'm just going to apply to my nose, my my T zone, and my cheekbone. I'm not applying it all over my face. So I since I applied just the primer on my T-zone and my nose and the uh, and my cheekbone, so I'm going to spray this uh, Catrice Prime and Fine, Prime and Prime and Fine Shine Fixing Spray all over my face because I'm not going to be using any other face primer. Anyway, this is my first time of using this uh, fixing spray. For the sake of this video, I have to get drugstore setting spray. I don't normally have any one. So spray it all over my face and I really like the smell of this face primer and I'm just going to use my beauty blender just to dab, dab it to my skin I'm just going to take a cutting pad I apply my Garnier Mineralized Water Red all on it already so I'm just going to wipe my lips because I'm going to be applying foundation on my lips I'm going to be setting my face because I want my face really to be I want to keep my makeup really matte all day First time in school you are going to be meeting a lot of people I'm going to be taking this Maybelline Fits Me face powder And I'm taking this drugstore face um, contour brush I'm just going to dip it just like so and that to my face For foundation, I'm going to be using the Melani Concealer Plus Perfect 2 in 1 Foundation Concealer in the shade Chestnut, which is number 13. Mm -hmm. Product you notice is um, it's liquid product. It's always advisable to shake it, and this product right here is super thick. So I'm just going to apply two pump on my beauty blender, and it's a full coverage, guys. So you really need to be careful with this product. my eye under my eye the bridge of my nose my forehead my cupid's bone I'm going to be using the Elegir concealer in 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 in, in warm sand so I'm just going to let that sit for a couple of minutes two to three minutes and I'm going to go ahead and bronze my face I'm going to be using a uh, cover girl cover girl queen ebony bronze taking this elf Contour brush to do that. So to blend my concealer, I'm going to be using the other clean side of the beauty blender. I'm just going to blend the highlight. This drama we have at the middle of our face. Okay, we want to look flawless. Okay. So to set my highlight, I'm going to be using this Art Deco Fixing Powder in number 03V. I'm going to go ahead and just, oh my god, I nearly stained my shirt. So I'm still going to go ahead, just bronze my face once more because I kind of lose bronze. When I was setting my face, just like so, nothing much, okay. Don't be too carried away. And slightly set my nose with the same brush. So, guys, for my eyebrow, I'm going to be using this Love Confession Eye Pencil in the shade Mo. I'm going to 
be setting this bra because this is my first time of using this bra it kind of oily and super soft and which is not good for my bra at all so i'm going to be using my nyx uh, eyebrow cake powder i'm going to be taking my regular shade i'm just going to apply it on top of the eye pencil I'm going to be using the Ellie Girl Concealer in the shade Warm Sand, the one I used to highlight my face. And I'm taking this angle setting, setting brush from Body So. Yeah, Body So. I'm just going to use the smaller side to clean my brow. Taking my BH Cosmetic Fluffy Brush, I'm just going to blend that concealer just using that setting powder from adeco i'm just going to use it to set my same maybelline fit me powder because i'm not going to be needing all this product anymore so to set my brow i'm going to be using this catrice slash brow designer this has become my autumn fade elf blush palette this one right here now i'm going to be taking this shade i'm going to be taking this shade this two shade right here so guys for my eye look i'm going to be using this slick palette this one right here and i'm going to be taking this shade I'm going to be taking this light um, dark peach color. This one right here. I'm using the same BH Cosmetic Fluffy Brush. I'm just going to pop that to my crease and at the same time drag it to my lid area. If that makes sense. And I'm taking a bit of smaller brush. I'm dipping into this dark kind of dark purple. I'm just going to apply it exactly on my crease. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to use that the same British cosmetic brush. I'm just going to blend everything together for any lash line. Mm -hmm. So guys, for my eyelid color, I'm going to be taking this Vice for palette by from by Urban Decay and I'm going to be taking this shade right here this shade where is my brush? I have to look for my brush over right here it's done very ridiculous anyway guys I'm going to be taking this shade called Low this one right here, it has a bit of shimmer on it this one right here, I hope this is the right one I guess I'm going to be doing my wing liner and I'm using my all time favorite gel liner which is from Maybelline Smoke my lower lash and I'm going to be taking the same peach shade the one I apply on my on my crease earlier on Catrice uh, waterproof lashes to kill mascara Just like the street lights I'm still going to spray my face with the Catrice matte finish prime and fine to live this I really like the smell of this uh, setting spray that is why I'm spraying a bit uh, uh, that is why I'm spraying a little bit more as you can tell so for lashes I'm going to be using these Amazon lashes this is my all time all time my baby my vibe like seriously super affordable and lasts for me like forever <laughs> So as you can tell, my face looks super super matte. 
but to bring in back dimension and glowy and dewy i'm going to be using this sleek palette uh sleek highlights palette and i'm going to be taking this shade right here i'm just going to be using my bobby brown eye blender to pop that to my my cheekbone And for my inner corner, I'm going to be using a smaller So for my lip color, I decided to go for something neutral, nude, same time still, you know Put together because I want to keep that really kind of classic nude look, you know what I'm trying to say So I'm going to be lining my lips, I'm using this love lip liner called, the name of this one is called Candy in number 542. Oh, looks, this is a shade right here. Yep, see, 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 super pretty. So, guys, for lip color, I'm going to be using this Maybelline Vivelt Matte Liquid Lipstick, and the name of this one is called Nude Trill, which is number 50. It's a very beautiful color for nude skin, for women of color, you know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> anyway guys, one more time I'm going to be spraying my face. I love this setting spray a lot. First impression, boom! Boom! Go get it, don't sleep on this super affordable, I believe it was 10 euros. You see what I'm trying to say? super affordable okay and it's doing the job okay i didn't expect it at all mm. ah. <coughs> 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 yes, i'll be right back i'm going to be applying my wig to complete this whole look don't go anywhere just stick around so you can see the you know the the, the beauty of this look okay <laughs> yeah. 